Hello there. So it's about time I found out if my voice is too annoying for YouTube. So um, this video is about a little game called Planet Crafter. Um, it's uh, still in early access, so it it has a bit of ways to go, I think. Uh, it also has, if I'm not mistaken, it's being made by a small team of a husband and wife, so it's it's not a, a gigantic, very ambitious project. But honestly, I think they have a good thing going here. So, uh, what is Planet Crafter? Well. Uh, Rather than explaining it, I'm just going to show it to you. Now, I have an ongoing... You see how that planet, the planet in the background changed? Yeah, that's that's basically the game. It's a bit more complicated than that. I'm going to start a new game uh, to show the basic gameplay and how to progress. And then I'm going to load my ongoing game to see so I can show you how the game world changes in response to what you do. Well, but uh, for now, let's start a new game. Um, you know what? Since it is for the, the purposes of the video, I'm just going to go for re relaxing difficulty. I'm not going to play this long term now. The landing site, I'm also going to go with the standard. It's, uh, I'm not really sure if I can make any uh, sense of the other landing sites. So, let's move on. Now, Well, here we are. Welcome to not Mars. Uh, I mean, I'm serious. It's not supposed to be Mars, but it, it, well, it really isn't because Mars doesn't have this uh, skyline. Anyway, this is the game world when you start out. This is your uh, pod, I guess you could call it. Uh, you're gonna come here a lot in the beginning because this is where you resupply of your your oxygen, which is the uh, the bar, the lowest bar in the lower left corner of the screen, which has a a duration of 100 seconds when you start out. So when you step out of here, it starts going down. The other two bars, the the middle bar is hydration, which uh, you fill up by drinking water of course and the first bar is health and food simultaneously uh, but uh, honestly there's there's not a lot of ways to take damage in the game this is supposed to be uh, you can die but it's not by taking damage it's either by starving to death or uh, dehydration or suffocating by, for lack of oxygen anyway um, on the top left corner you have a small list of uh, to-do list which is useful to start out some equipment you can craft uh, on the top right corner is the the big magic number that's the number that uh, you need to increase so this right so this is um as you can see, it's the year 3058, and Sentinel Corp has tasked you with uh, terraforming this lovely, lovely planet. So that's what we're going to do. Now, this is your crafting station. As you can see, not a lot is available, but more will be made available as you progress. And this is... Um, some food and oxygen to help you out when you when you're starting you can you if you're wondering why there's no water here it's because water is relatively easy to make 
food is another subject entirely. So, let's start by following the list and craft a backpack. I need two pieces of iron to craft a backpack, so let's go find some iron. Uh, this is silicon. From a distance it's a little difficult to tell sometimes what are you what these pieces are of but with time you'll uh, you'll learn to uh, recognize them by from afar right. there you go and uh, it's now in your inventory and you equip it like this and as you can see you have more inventory spaces now next is the oxygen tank to you know expand the amount of time you can spend outside so oxygen tank requires cobalt iron and magnesium so there's cobalt right here magnesium right here now iron I have a terrible memory for these things. Uh, I think I've got everything I needed. But no, I was mistaken. I need two cobalt, not iron. I can now spend 145 seconds outside. Great. So the next is the construction microchip, which will allow you to construct structures. Yes, there is a lot of construction in this game. And you'll see. It. Anyway, one step at a time. So I need two silicon and two magnesium. Let's go storm seems to have passed two silicon no. magnesium is relatively easy to identify it as this uh, looks like I don't know what it looks like but it's easy to identify <laughs> All right. we can now craft the construction chip It. So, I'm going to go into the construction menu, and when you start out, this is what you can craft. I can assure you, it's going to be a lot more in here after a while. Anyway, so the next objective in the top left corner is to craft a living compartment. Now. You could do it right here, but there wouldn't be much point in it. A living compartment uh, has the advantage that even if it doesn't have power, you can go inside and resupply uh, your oxygen. So you should make uh, make it a little further from your pod, so you can uh, you know travel further, so you don't need to come back to your pod to resupply oxygen every time. Now there's another reason that you should avoid the building your structures in this uh, at this altitude because further in the game this is going to be filled with water so you, everything you've built here and he will be inaccessible so my uh, what I always do is head up this hill and pick up some iron on the way and construct here okay so I need a piece of titanium I don't have a lot of oxygen left this may have been a mistake ah okay I'm, I'm done so there it is oh damn it 
I think I'm going to die. Yeah, silicon. 